here with the great veteran 0121. Hello, everybody. And the great Bullzoom. Hello, mate. No Dan tonight. Uh, apparently, Dan is not around. Uh, I tried to get a hold of him. But one thing I do want to do is, because I mentioned it last week, I want to start off with something. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play this song. It's called Dick Dagger's Theme. I told you I had Hi, some. this is Ron Jeremy. I had some You're '70s porn music. Porno Sonic. Yeah. All right. Let me share my screen so you guys can see what else going on. And then also, I want to just talk about. Um, I just kind of want to talk about about uh, the passing of a great musician, who, uh, aka, is Chris Cornell. The uh, Lead, lead singer of Soundgarden. And uh, yeah, it's just a shame that he uh, passed away. I would play some of his music right now, but since I'm gonna probably upload this to. Uh, what the hell is it? I'm probably gonna upload this to uh, YouTube, so I don't wanna play it just because I might get some copyrighted shit. But yeah, we got some 70s porn music playing here. And we're gonna be doing a little NES action here. So nice. yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll just let this play for just some. Classic. Yeah. Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, yeah, I'll play some punch out. Dude, you were like, you, you actually still use Winamp, dude? What's Holy up? Fuck, man. I, yeah. I didn't think anybody used Winamp anymore. Oh, I, I use Winamp. I use the Holy hell out shit. of Winamp. What's up, Abel? Alright, so let's play. Uh. Yeah, okay, we're gonna play. Yeah, I use Winamp because it really kicks the llama's ass or whatever or something like that <laughs> <laughs> it really whatever's i've had it since like i started doing shit back in the day like with the music and all that why what do you guys use i just use windows media player now man or yeah. fucking v vlc media player you know yeah actually i don't even really listen to that much music anymore so right. it's got to be Windows Media Player or fucking um, VLC Media Player because it's usually just like movies or whatnot. Yeah, no ESO tonight. Yeah. My, uh, I had a Windows update and uh, punch right in the chest. I had a Windows update and um, I can't get my PS3 controller working at the moment. And I'm trying to uh, re restart in the computer and uh, yeah, it just uh, wasn't working. So I said, fuck it. You so should... Uh... You should hook up your fucking um, PS4 controller and install DS4, man. I will. It's better. Yeah, I've been meaning yeah. to do that, Paul. He, I, I know I, I've been saying that to you a lot, but I, I, do, I do plan on doing that. Just because it's probably easier in the long run, and maybe I won't have to do the whole switching something. Anyways, I oh. am I am really taking my time with this guy, because I want, I want him... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock him out twice every round. Until the son of a bitch can't get up. Cause I, I, I don't know. It's just, is it me or I love just beating the the shit out of this poor man. I, uh, I like beating the shit out of him, but quickly. I, <laughs> I don't give this guy any hope at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like toying with him. Yeah, I just love doing this. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get you, and then it's like, screw you, man. Yeah, he's only won one match. I wonder who he beat. I forget if they ever explained that. But, uh, yeah, we're just talking Game of Thrones, we're talking, we were just talking, you know, we are talking Soundgarden a little bit. I heard from our friend Steve that he might, let's knock on wood, uh, there's none over here at the moment. Knocking on wood, there we go. Anyways, he might have a new job that will be actually a day job, so he'll actually be able to hang out at night again, man. Holy shit, really? Yeah, yeah, he might be getting a new job, but hopefully he gets it, man. In a uh, in a warehouse, a medical warehouse. Mm. And yeah. Oh, our, that'd be awesome. Yeah, and our buddy James is here too, right? Yeah. You got some good news yep. about moving to San Diego? Yes, that is going to be happening August first. So I'm excited about that. Get nice. the ship ready. Nice. Moving out of the PA. Not saying the PA is shit, but you know. It's been it pretty is. shitty to James. <laughs> Look at this guy. Now now I'm just going to stick and move. And watch this guy just... just uh, This is probably the longest anyone's ever fought in Glass Joe. Honestly. Look at this guy. 
I'm letting him have a chance, I guess. I really so am. You... <laughs> what, what, is, what is that black shit on his fucking neck when he does uppercuts? I don't See know. That? that might be his shadow. Oh. Who knows, man? There we go. Maybe he's got maybe he's got like a, a an ugly birthmark on yeah, the side of his neck. Or he's got like a tumor right on his neck. Yeah. And he's like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> don't hit my jaw. Yeah, please. <laughs> please don't hit it. Yeah, one of the challenges from the Wii game was Glass Joe knock him down three times and let him win by decision. Really? That that is interesting. I did not know that. I might actually I might have known that. I did like the Wii the Wii version of Punch Out. That was kind of fun. I never played it. Boom, knockout. I don't, I don't know. I, I had a buddy who's like, man, you should play the Wii version of Punch Out. And I'm like, I, I watched him play it for a little bit. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh man, this just ain't the same. Right. Well, the thing about that too is um, you could play it with the classic controller. It wasn't, you don't have to actually use the uh, the thing to try and punch him. Oh, see, he didn't have a classic controller. Well, man. you can use even the regular controller, I think. See, I, I didn't. See, I didn't know you could even use a classic controller with that game, Oops. though, because he had the fucking, you know, the 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 Wii mo and the fucking nunchuck or whatever. Yeah. Well, you could use that too, but you don't really have to. Yeah, I can tell Nintendo what to do with that damn Wii moat. Yeah, you could use the Wii moat sideways from what Abel is saying. Oh, well, whatever. Boom, there we go. I'm going to take that Wiimote and stick it in their collective anus. Yeah, I know. What? I, I, You know, I always thought that it was a goddamn gimmick. It's because it was, Pete. Just like everything else Nintendo does. It's a fucking gimmick. They fucking come out with some gimmick that... You know, a whole bunch of fucking people that aren't gamers buy, and then, right. you know. Yeah, like, I don't know how well... I think the Switch is actually doing fairly well, though. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I, kn I knew he was doing that. I was like, is he going to do that right away? Because I should have saved I my would, I want I want Nintendo's consoles to fail, so they start actually putting their games on fucking PC. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't actually... Did I just knock him out? TKO, all right. I don't know what 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 can I do to actually make con consoles just start failing and people start. I, I don't know. I just I don't, I don't understand how people can keep buying them. You would have keep saying that, but you would probably have to. Uh, I don't know. You'd probably have to like make videos like every day about like the downfall of the console and just make. You know what? You'd have to make like a really well researched video on why consoles will eventually die and be like this is why you should get a pc and this is why people should just change from pc or you know having a goddamn console to having a thing you know you know having a pc and then just be like look you can get a perfectly good gaming pc for this amount of money and the fact that you don't have to like spend an exorbitant amount later on by whoops buying consoles later on is a good thing man Oh, look at Mr... I gotta punch him in the gut, right? Well, huh. see, the argument I always hear people have with, with consoles is like, well, I don't have a mo I don't have money for a, for a gaming PC. Right. But the, but the thing is, though, they're not looking ahead. When you, when you look at games like on Steam, for example, they're so fucking cheap in comparison to, like, a lot of times when you, when you go to, like, a place like fucking GameSpot and you buy a game there for, like, $60, $70. Yeah. You can find so many games on Steam for cheap. That's ridiculous. And yeah. then plus, if you upgrade your computer, let's say your computer becomes like five or six years old or whatever, and you need to get a new one, guess what? You don't lose any of those fucking games. Right. Because if the, you know, I mean, because if you're on Steam, all you gotta do is just fucking sign into your Steam account. You oh. got all your the shit you used to have on fucking um on, on your new computer. With a console, they don't even want to do backward compatibility most of the time. Yeah. Or they want you to, or they want you to buy the game again on the, like the fucking PSN store or whatever the fuck they have, or Xbox Live or whatever, or the Nintendo E store. It's just fuck that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Abel says he remembers Vet's video on why he won't buy consoles, even though and he thought he deleted it. 
Yeah, well, I deleted it because, you know, I thought, I didn't think at the time I was going to buy any more consoles, but then, you know, I, I had to play Final Fantasy XV. Right. And now that I'm done playing it, I, I would rather just uh, sell my PS4 and, I don't know. Actually, I've, I do have Horizon Zero Dawn, but I haven't really been playing it that much. I play a little bit of it, but then Is I died the and PS then I stopped. Yeah, that's on the PS4, right? Yeah, unfortunately. If it was on Steam, I would have got it on that. I am kind of excited about Death Stranding, though. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the one, the Kojima one? Uh-huh. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to there's this one called Days, uh, something Days. Last Days or something. It kind of looks like The Last of Us. It has this feeling The Last of Us. It's kind of like got these zombies and shit. Looks kind of interesting. Days Gone By or some shit like that. I don't remember. Oh, little Max tired. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I am not that good right now. So I gotta ask Abe, why do you keep bringing up the fact that I deleted that video? Just curious. <laughs> Abel's got I mean, the was mind. It, was it was it bad that I deleted it? Cause I mean. I mean, I did kind of go back on what I said, so I might as well just, yeah, I said it, but there's no point in leaving it up, you know? Yeah, well, honestly, I would just, honestly, I would, I would, for you, Paul, I would just make another video saying, being like, this is why I don't think consoles are going to last, and just say, just have like a video where you explain, like, look, look, you can buy it, you can buy a PC, a gaming PC for this much, rather than, oh, shit. Oh, this is fucking... Not really, he said not really, it just came to mind. God, I am... I am... Am I gonna lose to this guy? Probably not, but... There we go. But yeah, he said not, he doesn't mean to keep bringing it up, I guess, it just can't, he just thought about it. As we're talking about this. But actually, oh. you know what, one thing we did try, Abel, now that, now that I'm thinking about it. We did try, uh... Playing cross-platform Dragon Quest Heroes 2 this week. And that did not work. No. Which sucked. So I uh, should I should I should I be able to sue Square Enix for cro for uh, false advertising? Yeah. Because they said it was cross-platform. Usually, when you say cross-platform, it usually means cross-platform. True. Right? True. Very true. I don't remember reading anything saying it. You couldn't play with. PC and PS4 together and Nintendo Switch together. There was nothing in the game like advertising saying that you couldn't do that. Yeah. So, yeah, saying that it's cross-platform is uh, is false advertising. Yeah, it just sucks so, that. So what, so, what, so, what do I, so what do I need to do? What kind of lawyer do I need to hire to, <laughs> to go after uh, Square Enix to well, fucking be like, hey man, I paid $60 for a game and now I can't play with my friends because I, I chose my preferred platform. Because I thought I'd be able to play with anybody I wanted. Yeah. Well, you know what it is. I don't. I. Th I. I think you probably have a pretty tough time doing it. Here's why, right? I really think this is the reason why you probably have a tough time doing that. Because No Man's Sky, if you remember that game, it came out what last year, and mm -hmm. um, they promised a lot of shit, and there was a, actually a advertising company or something that got on their case about like is it false advertisement because they showed like this they showed like this grandiose thing that you'd be able to do but you couldn't do it so they uh even they like even after they um showed that they weren't like false advertisements so it'd take a lot to prove that it was false advertisement it would take a whole lot isn't Final Fantasy XIV cross-platform with the PS4 and PC? I am not 100% sure. Yes. It is. Yes. Yeah, so then why can't they do something like that? Oh shit, I keep hitting that button. That's what I thought they did. But apparently they didn't. Probably because MMOs are PC first. Anyways, Here they develop them on PC, and then, you know, consoles are kind of an afterthought. Right, 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 yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV did originally come out on PC. 
but then they wanted to expand it to PS4 because, you know, see, that's the thing. It gets back to what we were talking about earlier. I mean, initially, you know, I'm thinking, oh, man, people people are just going to, they're going to reject this shit after a while. But, you know, the more I look at the data, you know, like I look at data for like the Skyrim Special Edition, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm looking at the, the sales data for that. Most of the sales are on console. Mm-hmm. And I'm scratching my head, like, and, and like I think it was like sixty some percent fucking like uh, like Xbox uh, One, and like fucking it was like twenty some percent fucking PS4, and then like fourteen percent PC. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty shit. Well, then again, maybe that had something to do with the fact that pe- people that already had it for PC were gonna get it for uh, for free anyways. Yeah, that could be the case. But then you look at the uh, the original numbers back in like 2011 or whatever. Most of the sales were on console. Got so it. I'm like thinking to myself, God, you know this this shit. You know, there's too many people out there that are still like console fanboys, or they just don't know any better, so they just keep buying the damn machines every three or four years, even though they're outdated pieces of crap by the time they come out. Right. And I, I just, you know, I, my, I guess, I guess my, my fucking, I don't know. I'm starting to question my own predictions. Is basically what I'm saying. That's why I deleted the video. Because, you know, I, I'm giving humanity too much fucking credit <laughs> for, be, for actually being smart. I mean, because honestly, if you were smart, you would fuck. I mean, if if people, if everybody was smart, they would reject these fucking consoles. Yeah. And make it so. Every game that's made is on, you know, a universal platform. That way it's available to everybody. I think it's foolish to fucking, you know, have to buy a piece of fucking hardware just to access, you know, certain types of software. That's retarded. Oh, wait, I gotta punch him in the mouth. Yeah, this guy, dude. If you if you fucking lose the king hippo, man, then you, you I don't dude, know. Dude, I, I used to lose. I, I used to lose them all the time, ball, all the time. <laughs> because I was I never used to be like, when do I gotta hit him in the mouth? And then and then I would fuck up, and then he would just knock the shit out of me. But you know what? I was just thinking about this. I'm playing a Nintendo game, aren't I? Huh? I won't be able to upload this, huh? Actually, I don't nah, really. Give, I I honestly don't really give a shit. As long as someone, as long as we have content for tomorrow, that's all, all that matters. Open your mouth. There we go. No, but I have lost to him before because I a lot because I never. I was like, how the fuck do I hit him in the fucking mouth? And uh, I was just fucking awful. Anyways, uh, Abel says there's probably parents who buy consoles for the kids and probably not aware of PC gaming. Yeah, that's probably another problem, huh? Right. Yeah. All right. Who do I face? The Great Tiger. How you doing there, James? You doing all right? Are you watching this yeah, on your phone, or are you just talking on your phone, or are you you can are you able to watch us, or are you just hang chilling with us? Oh yeah, I'm able to watch it on my phone here. So I got a question for you, James. I recently saw you upload some. Why am I hitting this guy? Uh, I recently saw you uploaded some Mario stuff. What's going on with that? Some uh, Mario oh, uh, Mario level stuff? Yeah, I've been uh, messing around with uh, hacking Super Mario World, you know, because I need something to do in my free time. Right. <laughs> Owie. So, uh, yeah, I coded ah. some custom blocks that'll uh, turn your level into... Uh, a water level or an ice level, nice. depending on the on up. Yeah, because I noticed one thing, and there's like had you had all these fish there, right? They were uh... there. We go. You had all these fish, and then all of a sudden you hit the block, and and it was like you were in the water level. It was pretty cool. Is that like a one of a kind type thing that you're doing? Oh, yeah, my I, god. I. Oh my it. god, Pete. God, I suck. Oh. Holy shit, man! Great well, you got. I I think you should. I think you should play retry doing this game, and just to, Why, man. I don't know. Maybe just play it again. I don't know. It'd be cool. But I think you did it in one video, didn't you? You just like let's play Punch Out, and then you just destroyed it. 
Yeah, it was like, uh, I don't remember how long it was, but yeah, you know, it yeah. was like maybe an hour, maybe. Yeah. Back in the day, back in the days when you could, uh, you could upload stuff like that without any dealing with shit. Wow, come on. Ooh. There you go, there you go. There we go, God, man. Yeah, I was, I was honestly thinking of playing something else that would require me to not have to, like, concentrate too much, but I couldn't think of anything else at the, mo at the, at the top of my head. Like, there's not a lot dude, of it. Go ahead. Dude, any, this game, you need to concentrate. Right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. This is one of those games where you, especially if you're fighting Tyson, man, you gotta be locked in. Nah, nah, I'm not making it to Tyson. There's no way. Boom, there we go. Or or Mr. Dream. No, nah, I won't make it to him either. I always <laughs> I always lose to Sandman. I can't beat Sandman. Oh, yeah, fucking Sandman. Stay down. Ah, oh, god damn you. You have to get up. Did you ever win by decision any of these assholes? Uh yeah, I beat Tyson by decision once. Uh I think I beat Sandman by decision a couple times. I hate that. That fucker I hate worse than Macho Man, man. I, I can't stand fucking Yay. Sandman. Yeah, Sandman's the worst. Besides Tyson, he's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, Sandman's tough. Macho Man is kind of tough, too. You know what it is about those guys? They got like these... I'm always looking at their skinny, skinny, like, midsection. And I'm not paying attention <laughs> to, like, when they're... Because they're, like, one of the first guys, too, that, like, they get down, and then they swing at you. You know what I mean? So it's, like, you can't... It's hard to hit them. Yeah. And this guy... animations are weird. Yeah, this guy's just a big old bastard. Yeah, and I always thought it was funny with this fucking guy right here. You know how he does that fucking bull charge? Yeah. And I always Punch read, like... I always read in the strategy guide or whatever, like, on his third jump... Uh, that's when you jab at his tum his stomach or whatever. I'm like, what third jump? All I see is a bunch of. Di -di 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 -di. I'm like, there's like there's like five or six jumps. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? This guide is fucking retarded. They're like, it's not making any sense. What they're telling me doesn't make any sense. We're like on his third jump, make sure to time it right and punch him in the stomach. Third and I'm jump. like, third yeah, I'm like third jump. There's no third jump. He's just going. He's ah. just all you hear is like, you know, the weird sound effects you hear, the or whatever it is. Right. Yeah, and I like, always... That's all, that's all I get out of that. Yeah, I always had to just like, kind of look at him and I was like, okay... There's just like a certain moment you gotta be like, okay, boom, you gotta punch him in the gut. Yeah, you just gotta get lucky. Yeah. But I, I remember reading that in, in like a guide or whatever and being like, utterly confused by yeah, <laughs> what the like, fuck they were talking yeah, about. Like, one, two, three. I couldn't figure out. Yeah, I, I kept getting, I kept getting fucking knocked out by just it. Like yeah, that. just like that. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. I always loved how his, I, I always loved there. how his eyes all got fucked up when you hit him in the face. There's a way you can't hit him in the stomach. Well, yeah, the way his eyes just kind of rattle around in his, in his fucking head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The animations for this game are fucking classic. Yeah, it's like you gotta. It's like you're giving him a. You you know you're giving him a fucking concussion, probably. But his skull's too fucking thick. Dude, this this game. I mean, considering this game came out in like what the mid to late '80s. I mean, the graphics for this game are still amazing. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, they still look great. I mean, the animations. Yeah, they're choppy, or whatever. But they still look amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They did a hell. Of, they do it. They do a hell of a job with this game. There we, oh wow! Thanks, Mac. Fucking little bit of health he gave me back. I always found that kind of shitty. There I mean, we this go. this is a this is a huge upgrade from playing fucking Atari Boxing, man. If you ever play Atari Boxing, it's just you know, two people from like you know bird's eye view with like you know they look exactly the same. They got like two oh. clubs. Yeah. You ever play? You ever play boxing on Atari? No. Get up, you you're not little old, you're not shit. Old enough for that, huh? Ah, no, nah, I played a little bit of Atari, but now he's got to come and laugh in my fucking face. I always hated that. I hate it. Fucking laugh. I know, man. It's... The fucking laugh used to fucking... 
I wouldn't say give me nightmares, but fuck it, it was fucking bad. I hated it because it you was you know, like a. What was that, James? Sorry. <laughs> you laugh like a donkey. That's kind of like what it was, man. Yeah, yeah, actually, you're right. He totally does sound like a donkey when he laughs, or like any laughing. Like, actually, you know, Ganon laughs like a donkey, too, because I think it's the same laughing sound effect. They use the same laughing sound effect in Zelda 2, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you get game over, Ganon laughs, he goes, ha, 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 ha. It's the same fucking laugh. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense, though. Same company. Right. Might as well reuse the same sound effects, right? Let me ask you this, guys. When you played this game, did you ever favor one hand over the other? No. I always favor my left. Just because I'm left-handed. And I just like to think Lil Max left-handed. It could well, be wrong. Yeah. I mean, I, I like to alternate between the two. Right, yeah, same here. Usually. Well, yeah, especially against Don Flamingo, but most of the time I like the left. All right, here we go. It's a shame he's doing I, this now. He's over the Boom. I used to favor the right until I realized that going back and forth, you can get a higher combo. Right. Yeah, I want. They used to have a thing about how many. Um. Oh, he was about to hit me. But yeah, they used to have a thing that they had. Uh, they showed you how many points you would need in order to beat these guys. Like you know how they have the points up in the top there. They're like, oh, this is how many points you would need to beat them. I have no idea what they would be for any of these guys, but suffice to say, you probably need a shit ton. Because I think you get like a thousand for knocking them down. No, not even. Wow. I went from 290 something to 3,500, so about maybe 600 points. You figure a fucking knockdown would be a thousand. I don't even know how they do it. I don't even know how they do it in regular boxing, like points. Ow. I don't know. Yeah, because every little hit is 10 points. And then so when I'm you... Not even a f I don't even watch regular boxing. Yeah. But, and... You know, I'd rather, I would rather watch this than real boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. if this guy was, this was in real boxing? This guy would probably this, win. This guy would be, this guy would probably win, man. I mean, being able to teleport around like that. Right. But you'd think he'd, he, you'd think he'd be smart and actually be like, you know, instead of just teleporting in a circle like that, he'd be, like, fucking teleporting, like, all around the ring and shit. Right. Like, like he'd be going to the four corners, he'd be zigzagging, you know, he'd be zigzagging. He, he'd be doing, like, what Rickon should have been doing in in, in Season 6, Episode 9. So he, yeah. so he doesn't get fucking hit by arrows and shit. Boom. But, yeah, man, his, his, his special ability would easily be the best. The bull charge thing... Not so much, because you can just kind of no. get out of the way. Like, if you think about yeah. it, Mac, it's just like a one-on-one -on -one thing. We're not moving or anything like that. It's like literally in a line. And uh, the bull charge probably wouldn't work. I don't know. Does Sandman spit at you in this game? Spit at you? Yeah, doesn't he do something where he, like, spits at you or does some sort of sand no, thing? No, I think he fucking, like, flashes his boobs at you or something. Yeah. Or, like, wiggles, wiggles his chest. He he laughs at you, and I think he wiggles his boobs at you. Yeah, I his, think... His, his, man, his man boobs. I think Piston Honda would would, would have a pretty alright uh, special move, but he'd have to, like, get you in the corner or something. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the Tiger guy would just win everything. He would. He really would. Uh, see, Piston Honda, though, he, I mean, if he doesn't stop that whole fucking, you know, the, the flickering in the eyebrows thing or whatever the hell, I mean, he telegraphs all his punches, man. Right. And he's got to stop that shit if he's going to be successful in real life. You know, because every time, you know, he starts doing that fucking eyebrow thing, it's like, oh, he's going to huh. punch me. That's what he does. Yeah, and then, this... yeah, Bald Bull, Bald Bull, he does that fucking, like, stupid little spinny thing with the gloves. So he, yeah. he's telegraphing his punches, too. Right, yeah, he does, like, he does like a like a slot machine type thing. One other thing yeah. I, I hate about this guy, not not in this not this time around, but that, oh, fuck me. Not this time around, but, um, but next time, he'll get up on the nine. And I'm like, what the yeah. fuck, man? You can't get up on the nine. You're not supposed to. 
No, no one he gets always up. Gets, no, he like every time you knock him down, the second time you fight him, he gets up on nine every fucking time. Just to fuck with you, thinking like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a KO here, but yeah. then he's like, nah. He's, he's like doing it on purpose. Yeah. Mass muscle from the NES spits, Super Nintendo spits in your eyes. Okay. That's who does it. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a guy in the Super Nintendo one that uses a cane. That's that's cheating. Yeah, I never played that one. That that one. Was oh, garbage, God damn if it! I remember, if I recall, I didn't like the Super NES version of this. I was like, ugh, this is terrible. I'm not playing this. I'll just play the NES one. Right. Isn't uh, it sad how this was like the best one? They haven't been able to fuck. I don't know. Maybe maybe the Wii one is okay. I didn't really give it no, much of a chance. No, you know what? I the just like it. Yeah, the Wii one isn't bad, but it's not this. You know what I mean? It's not It's not this. as fucking classic as this. Yeah. But yeah, okay. they uh, Abel said he likes how Piston Honda name was changed to Piston Hondo in the Wii to avoid copyrights. Probably to avoid copyrights with the Honda Car Company. I would not be surprised, Abel, honestly. I yeah, would not be surprised. Some stupid shit. I mean, they had versions of this game where they took out Mike Tyson and put out Mr. and put in Mr. Dream cuz, you know, I don't know, oh. they couldn't get the light, the licensing for Mike Tyson or whatever. Did you know about that, Pete? I thought they got rid of him because of the, the like, uh... Prob well, the, yeah, the, probably the jail stuff, too. The jail you know, stuff, the too. Yeah, the fucking criminal stuff. That's probably part of it. Oh, man, why but are you yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, they made Mr. Dream. Yeah, which is exactly the same. And they made him a white guy, too. Yeah. Which is crazy. Actually, it looked like Jason Kidd. Now that I'm thinking about it. Mr. Dream actually looked like Jason Kidd. Like, carbon... I'm like, if I was to think of... Like, if anybody in real life, I'm like thinking, well, who does Mr. Dream remind me of? You know? Jason Kidd. And they Kidd. took Mike Tyson out of this game? Yeah, Jason Kidd. Stay down. Please stay down. Oh, you, you bastard. God damn you. Sorry about that, guys. I... Forgot to turn my uh, sound off on my notifications. That's all right. Oh God damn him! God damn him! What sound? I didn't hear anything. And oh, you didn't hear that balls to you? Uh, no. Nope. Oh okay. God damn it, me! Hurry! Come on! He's gonna get me! Come on, Mac! Out of the oh, way. here we go. All I gotta do there is just go. keep. Oh, there you go. Woo! That was close. I win. Take that, bald bull, you Turkish bastard. Yeah, I, maybe they changed his name from Piston Honda to Piston Hondo. Do the, the insanely stereotypical whatever, I guess. But yeah, if they ever made a Rocky game, this is how I would want it, honestly. You fight yeah, through, you that'd fight, be cool. You fight through all this shit, you know, you, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The I like the I like the first two guys. Like it was it, the, in the Wii game, they had the Kaiser, they had the uh, the Kaiser, and he spoke German. I forget what Glass Joe was. He French? Uh, and then yeah, the, yep. Yeah, and then they had Piston Hondo, and he he was uh, or Piston Honda, obviously very Japanese. Look at what he's doing with his eyes. I would tell him to stop that. If I was his fucking Guy, uh, if it was a fucking trainer, I'd slap him in the face. I said, "Stop doing that shit. You're fucking, you're fucking showing everything." And just the face that he makes, like when you hit him. Yeah, this is the face that you make when he when you hit him too. It's like, it's pretty hilarious. Like he can't believe he's being punched. I thought that there was a way I could hit him. Maybe I'm thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, don't we have to fight Dom Flamingo again? I hate that guy. God damn, I hate that guy. Yeah, he's easy though. Even the second time you fight him, he's um, he's easy. Not not as easy, but he's still easy. God damn it! Holy you can be pissed on the two with one punch, really. Oh man, I wish I knew that. I, I ain't gonna beat him with fucking 15 punches here. I've landed... 
I've landed 29 hits on this guy. I've never oh. beat this guy with one punch. You know how to you do gotta, it? Like, punch, what, you gotta punch him in like a, like a, you gotta time oh. some, some crap. We gotta like uppercut him when he's doing his jabs or something. Some kind of crazy shit I don't know about. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'll I'm have to curious. look that up. I'm curious, man. I'll have to look that up, because that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, there's probably somebody who's got a video of it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's I betcha. Pissed. He's pissed off about his first fight. Well, don't be. Man, I really hate that they that they give you shit energy back. Sometimes they give you like a fucking fuck ton, and then sometimes they give you jack dilly shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, but that I I, I don't know if it, like the the amount of time you actually hold down the select button. I don't know if that actually factors into the amount of stamina you get back or not. Right, man. right, right. If you just tap it a little bit, or if you hold it down. I really don't know. Yeah, neither do I. I'll have to it test seemed that. To be different. It seemed to be different every fucking time that I play. I'll test it out next next time. Look at this guy doing his little juke. Thinks he's like the Barry Sanders of boxing. This guy's. I think. Oh! He just, I think he just oh, beat man, me. This guy is really taking you to town. Get up! Get up, you son of a bitch! All right. Oh, all right. there you go. Come on, Pete. If I oh, lose yeah, here. Careful though. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yes, yes. I know you could do it in the first I'm done. I can't get up. I know you could do it in the first uh match. You can definitely punch him in the stomach when he comes at you. But maybe you could do it here. Now he's gonna laugh at me. Oh, okay, good, he's not laughing at me. I don't mind if he shows off. If you in the later fights, if you press select at the beginning of the first round, you start the match at half health. Yeah, don't do that. That's, that's <laughs> fucked I learned, up. I learned that shit the hard way, man. Like I accidentally hit select one time in the beginning of the first round, and my yeah, my stamina went down. I was I looked at that. I'm like, what? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I was mad. Now then, let me ask you this, guys. Does this guy look like a 28 year old? I honestly don't think he does. Who, Piston the, Honda? Yeah. Uh, he just looks like a really big Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't really have. I mean, China, <laughs> Chinese. I mean, Asian people are kind of ageless, anyways. I mean, right? Because they kind of all like, you know, they could be sixty and look like they're forty. I mean, right. they're. I mean, King Kim Jong Un. He looks like he's probably like you know in his early thirties, but he looks like he's fifteen. Doesn't he? Especially with that fucking yeah. retarded ass haircut. Yeah, he looks like a fat little boy. Yeah. Fat, stupid little boy. Mm -hmm, Dangerous. Pretty much. <laughs> Dangerous, but stupid. Yeah. Oh, he definitely stupid. The guy definitely probably doesn't have a very high IQ. Oh. Ah. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Get up, you little shit. Yeah, I always found it kind of funny, too, like, Lil Mac is the only guy in the boxing realm that wears, like, a, uh... Oh, fuck, I wanted to use that star. He's the only one who wears a tank top, you know? Yeah. Come on, Pete. You're gonna eat lightning and <laughs> crap, crap thunder. thunder. Yeah. You're gonna be a very dangerous poison. <laughs> right. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold it down for a bit. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see if we get a bunch of health back. I held it down. Jack Diddley shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I guess it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if it affects it at all. I wonder if it's just I the really randomness. Don't know. I'm gonna yeah, lose. Yeah, I, I think it's just random, to be honest. Whoops. That, Whoa, what, what happened, man? We that went blue. Oh, you know what? My, my, I must have <laughs> hit a save state. God damn it. <laughs> Did I you're save state? You're, you're, you're back to Piston Honda <laughs> 1 now. Yeah. Holy crap. If I can get him to... If I can get him, then I'm I'm only gonna go I'm only gonna beat him and then I'm done, I guess. 
Maybe we'll switch games <laughs> and play something a little easier. Yeah, this is so much easier. Maybe if I didn't suck. Alright, I beat him. Woohoo! Yay. Alright. Let's switch games. We'll play something else. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Well, you know what? I want to show you guys this game because I bet you you never thought this existed. What's the name of it? Um. Ah, uh, yes. Whoop! No, not not Rygar. I know you guys know that exists. Yeah. Had it, played it. All right, this is a game by Konami. It's called Roller Games, right? And uh, it's pretty interesting. It takes place in like a futuristic world. Where there are roller skating, like, thugs and shit, right? And roller derby is, like, the... Roller games is, like, the craziest thing ever. We faced an enormous problem. Three rough teams have kidnapped the owner. The three good teams can only rescue him. Your skills decide if you win or fail. So, yeah, we get to pick through three teams. We got the T-Birds, the Hot Flash, which are ladies. The T-Birds are big fat guys who are slow. Hot Flashes are ladies who are kind of weak, but they're fast. And then the Rockers are kind of like in-betweens. I'm going to show off the T-Birds because I'm, I'm fat. And, yeah. So we have, like, this grandma guy or maybe it's a lady. And she's, like, mad at us for something. I don't know. This is an interesting game, though. It's literally, like, a beat-em-up game. But, like, on roller blade or roller skates. So it's, like, Double Dragon on roller skates? Yes. Oh, and then, okay. And then cool. there's ver various, like, shit you gotta do. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, like, over here. No, not over here. But th there'll be a spot a little later where, like, you gotta beat up guys. And, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's an inter Oh, come on. Seriously? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> There's fucking potholes. I know. Oh, that sucks. This is the future, guys. I don't know if you know this. This is the future, like... like... So, in the, fu in the future, they refuse to fill potholes in the roads. Yeah, even in the future, the government doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently even mm. less, because that's a lot of fucking potholes, man. I know, man. It's fucking unreal. And then you gotta go and down this, these And ramps. this looks like a busy street, too. Yeah. And then and then you got fucking... Well, you don't, no, not only do you got potholes, but you got fucking, uh, you know, like, giant sections of road that they haven't filled in with, with yeah. cement. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, damn. I do I mean, want... Where's the, tax, where's the tax money going? I don't know, man, but it is definitely not going to any kind of fucking infrastructure... That's for goddamn yeah. sure, man. Yeah, one big problem about this game, I'd have to admit, is that there's no, uh... You got a fucking timer, and that's bullshit. I hate games that have fucking timers with shit like this, because it, it doesn't give you an opportunity to just... It doesn't give you an opportunity to just kind of go with the flow and not have to worry about r rushing. I mean, even though, like, a hundred and wow. whatever seconds is a lot, but... Is this game, like, predicting the future for us now? I mean, you know, with all the f oil fracking that we're doing, <laughs> are we going to have, like, so much oil in the future that people are just going to be rolling it around on the street for fun? Maybe. To, 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 you know, trip up people that are rollerblading around the street? I mean, I don't understand this, man. Yeah, I don't know. And now we go into this shit area. going on. This and, is a weird game, man. Yeah, dude, it's pretty interesting. I used to have this back when I was a kid. And now guys are throwing grenades, busting up the streets some more. It's fucking insane. I don't know where the guys, like, get grenades from. And yeah, I fucked that up. God damn it. Some of the jumping in this game is kind of bullshit. But yeah, I want to make this an LP. So eventually I want to, um, get decent at it enough to make it a Let's Play. Because it's fairly, it's fairly, like, short, too. I think I gotta be around here. Well... Let's see. As long as it's easier than Double Dragon 3. Yeah, no, I would never play Double Dragon 3. <laughs> I played this one beat-em-up on the NES with my brother years ago. Yeah, what was it and, called? Uh, I don't remember, but we went inside the, the one of the houses, and this lady started beating us, a big, heavy lady started beating us with a frying pan. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't remember that game. I don't think I ever played that one. And it was for the Nintendo? Yeah. All right, now this sat psycho... Oh no, he, he's summoning a dobo on a bobo on us. Yeah, you gotta kind of like jump attack him or something, and then he gets up and... Yeah, can you imagine being like kicked in the face by a guy who wears rollerblades? And now this guy's having a psychotic episode. <laughs> what the he, fuck is that shit? And then he just runs around like a fucking Dude, why, whack. Why is he all? Why is he all red, man? Did he just. Why is he all red running around like that? I don't know, man. He's a bit. He's a pile of shit, is what he, he's. That guy or girl? So we do beat up guys and girls, and I might as well show you what the girl looks like. All right, so we beat bad attitude. Now we're gonna fight the maniacs. Never feel safe, even if the area is cleared. Broken expressway. Next. Don't fall off. Thanks a lot, game. All right, so yeah, we gotta deal with uh, literally. This is a Ninja Turtles level, like on the um. God damn it, man. Yeah, this is totally a Ninja Turtles level, by the way. God damn it, man. That I suck bad, but yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, like, Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, where they had, like, the, uh, you were on, like, roller skates or what, or not roller skates, but, like, skateboard things. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I remember that level. Yeah, this is very similar. This, uh, what was it, Turtles 2 or Turtles 3? I can't remember. I think they both had similar levels, of course. Of course, I fucking fall off like an asshole. But, yeah, this is I mean, what there you was... Are you talking about, like, the original Turtles NES game, or are you talking about the NES arcade game port? Uh, the, I think the NES arcade port. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably, there's probably a level in there that I remember like this, I don't know. Yeah, see, now I never we... actually did end up beating the fucking, the, the original Ninja Turtles NES game. It's just too hard. Yeah, the final stage is a real piece of shit. Oh, I can do it with break. Game Genie. Yeah. I can make it oh, up yeah, to the okay. final level without Game Genie. It's just after that, it's like, fuck that, man. Fuck that, mommy. I can't yeah. even get... I can't get past the fucking water levels, man, where you got all that fucking electricity and shit. I always die at that shit. Oh, I couldn't get past it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I never but... played it again. Yeah, well, they get... Uh... No offense, but the game does get harder after that. It, like, especially with yeah, the... I never, I never would have beat it then. Right. <laughs> the game was just, it was way too hard. Yeah, I don't know what to do there. I guess just stay in the middle. Because in the level after that, you got to rope the damn roofs. Yeah, Use yeah, the rope yeah. To... It's fucking stupid. Yeah, they got stupid. They got. St oh, give me a fucking break. They got dumbass. Eh, I might as well show you what the rockers look like. Anyways, they got these dumbass, um... They got these dumbass, like, yeah, you gotta do the ropes, and then the jumps are really bad. Holy God. When you're in the sewer, the jumps are awful. And the thing about it is, too, is, like, you're a fucking turtle. How are you not fucking making... How you... When you fall in the sewers, you're dead. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, I know, right? Here. And then when you're in the sewer level, and then you fall in the water, and then you die, and it's like, how is that... How does that make sense? You're a turtle. Right, even in... Loud. I always used to think Michelangelo was the best swimmer in the game, but I, I ended up finding out that that is not the case. Yeah, I'm still getting hit like a bitch. Yeah, it's funny how you can be in the sewers and then you can fall in the water and die, right? right? But then you actually have water levels where the turtles are actually swimming around. I've never understood that shit. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to have, like... I mean, make, make it, like toxic sludge or something like that that they fall into in the sewers and then have them die. I mean, not just straight up fucking water. Oh, great. Flamethrowers on the road. What the what? fuck? Oh, great. Fucking barrels and flamethrowers and all this shit. Oh, Jeez. Battletoads? Yeah, Battle yeah I, never played, I never fucking played Battletoads because I, I have. it was too fucking hard and I never bothered. Oh, look at this. A fucking, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. No, I've never played... Oh, no, you know what? I have played Battletoads, but I've never beaten it. I've probably gotten to, like, the third level. I What's heard that the... game was impossible unless you had a buddy playing with you. Yeah. The third level, the one with the, the jets, 
that I think I made it there. I think that's the third level. But anyways, I think I'm going to end tonight's stream. Thank you, Abel, and anyone else who was here. Uh, I'd like to thank the, thank the great veteran 0121. Thanks for having me. And I'd also like great. to thank the... Oh, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool to have some throwback game. But uh, hopefully next week we'll get back to ESO or something else. Uh, we'll see. But um, I'd also like to thank the great Bullzome. Hey, thanks for having me. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, RIP Chris Cornell. And uh, hopefully uh, no one else famous, well, that I like will die uh, by next week. So, yeah, I have been Kenshin1913. And I will uh, see you uh, later. Enjoy the uh, rest of your life. <laughs>